This is Carol, KP4MD, with an overview of our new N6NA.org website. Our website is an important source of information for current and prospective members, and often provides an important first impression to Internet visitors. Here is a view of our former website, very graciously designed several years ago and maintained by Dane Westvik, KO6YD. In its time, it served our club well, but with the evolution of the Internet, it was due for an update. Here are some of the problems that we identified. This home page opening screen offered little information about us. The home page was very long, requiring much scrolling to find information. Multiple large image files caused lo slow loading of the home page. The font sizes were often poorly legible. Finding other pages on the website was time consuming. Users could not easily search the site for information, and editing and updating the website required mastering the wiki programming language. The wiki programming language required memorizing a long list of commands and syntax, and its limitations were not compatible with some modern interactive web browser features. This screenshot shows just the beginning of the long list of command definitions. Here is a sample of the wiki programming code for part of a former website page. If a web page needed correction or updating, the website manager would visually search through this code, hoping to find misspelled commands or errors in syntax. This task was tedious and time-consuming and not conducive to regular updating of the website. We identified these needs for website improvement to correct and update website information, functionality, and legibility, to shorten the pages to speed up page loading and to reduce the need for scrolling, to ease website maintenance with a user-friendly website editor, to facilitate user website navigation and information searches, to preserve the existing website information archives and member pages during this transition, and to add a presence on the Facebook and Google Plus social networking sites. Now let's do a walkthrough tour of our new n6na.org website and see its new features. Starting on the home page, you will see the n6na banner at the very top. This banner is present at the top of all pages on our website, and clicking on this banner will always bring you back to the home page. Below the banner is a horizontal navigation bar that also appears on all of our web pages. Clicking on these buttons will allow you to navigate directly to any of our web pages from any other page on the website. In the upper right hand corner, there is a search engine. The search engine can create a list of any web pages and documents on our website that contain the search terms you enter here. For example, if you want to look up information on Field Day, you would type that in, click this button, and it brings up a list of documents that contain your search term. In this case, there are 48 matches that you can page through with these arrows. Let's click on the banner now to return to the home page. Further down the page are links to our Facebook and to our Google Plus pages that you see here. Social networking is attracting more and more internet users of all ages, and it is important that we maintain a presence there as well. Next, there is information on our monthly meetings and a link to our na latest newsletter. Clicking on this link conveniently lets you read the current newsletter online. Returning to our, the home page, you see our new interactive calendar on the right. The first item listed on the calendar is our next activity, in this case, our general membership meeting. Clicking on the activity will provide more details about it. The calendar also will list our weekly nets, including the call signs of each scheduled net control station, board meetings, and other events throughout the year. You can scroll through the calendar to view future events 
and clicking on these tabs will change the view from a list view to a month view or to a weekly view. Scrolling down the page, we see a general information about our nets and our secure online payment service for membership dues and repeater fund donations. We also mention our sponsorship of the Granite Bay Montessori Radio Club and here there is a concise list of links to sites of amateur radio interest in our area and local radio clubs. These links on our homepage also serve to raise our priority level for hits on internet search engines such as Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Let's return to the navigation bar and proceed to the next page which is about us. This is a snapshot overview of information on the River City Arcs. Who we are, what we do, when we meet, what you need to join, our contact information, and a list of our officers, board members, and committee chairs. The next page is events. This contains a media gallery of our regular events and activities and it illustrates what we do throughout the year and will be updated regularly. The next page is about our meetings with details of when and where they occur. Again here is our interactive calendar and here is a new interactive map showing our meeting location at the Sacramento County Yard. Users can conveniently get directions to our meetings by clicking on this link, entering a start address in this box, and then clicking on the Get Directions button. And a direct route to our club meeting is plotted on the map with the travel time and step-by-step -step details of where to make turns. Let's return to the meetings page. Scrolling down, we see links to our archive of prior meeting presentation documents and pictures. The next page, called Members, has links to members' web pages, both from our original wiki website and elsewhere on the web. Please let us know if you are not listed here and wish to add a link to your web page. Also here we keep a list of our silent keys. The next page is called Newsletters and lists our digital archive of newsletters since 2002. Clicking on any of the months highlighted in blue will display the newsletter for that month. There are no newsletters in our archive for the months that are in gray. For example, we can click on June 2002 to display the newsletter for that month. This is convenient for those who are interested in River City Arcs history. Now let's back up and proceed to the N6NA repeater webpage. Here is a description of our repeater, how to access it, and again our weekly repeater nets. On the right is our N6NA repeater transmitter coverage map showing estimated field strengths in our coverage area based on repeaters transmitter power and tent elevation and topographic features of the terrain. Clicking on this map will direct you to a page where you can pan and zoom to any area on the map for more detail. The final website page is a site map in list form. Let's return to the home page and let's see the website from the perspective of the website manager. We're going to go ahead and sign in. And the website manager can update the content of this website with an online editor that functions very much like a modern word processor. We're going to go ahead and enter the editor now 
and you can see this is the editor page and we can type any text anywhere on this page anywhere on the website and very quickly and easily update any of the uh, uh, web links and insert images as well. The HTML code can also be edited if necessary and this is going to make it much easier to keep the website content updated. In summary, the updated N6NA website offers increased value to River City ARC's membership through serving our information and communication needs and helps to improve our outreach to the amateur and local community. We hope you enjoy it and welcome your comments and suggestions. Thank you.